Kia ora, kua dia ho, haro mai, welcome to today's five minute maker space. We're going to make a price spinner today. We don't need too many materials and hopefully it should be relatively easy to do. So we're going to need some pieces of cardboard, some tubes, things to cut out, ruler, we're going to need some paint. Probably go, go away and do the bit of painting. Alright, so I've got a cardboard base for my spinner. I'm actually going to paint that. So that's just a cardboard square. Now we need to make the spinning circle. I'm just using a plate and I'm just going to trace around that and cut that out. I'm going to be painting this as well. You're also going to need a bamboo skewer. You need something to make a hole with as well. There are our eight segments. Now, I'm now going to go away and paint these. So I'm going to paint this. I've got three different paints here. Um, you could use um, texture or colouring in pencils as well if you wanted to, if you find that that may be quicker and maybe it might be a little bit more accurate than me using the paint. And I'm going to paint the baseboard and we've got a cardboard tube here for this to go on to, but we won't need to paint the whole thing. So this is going to go on side here and we're going to have a separate piece as well. So I'm going to cut this particular one down. I'm going to cut it at about three quarter length. So it depends how high you want your wheel to be. So whatever you cut it down to, bearing in mind there's going to be another one here as well. Cut it down and then paint that one. Don't need to do extra painting if you don't need to. And I'll see you back here shortly. A little bit extra. Go around the base while it's in place. Make the hole large enough so the wooden skewer will go through. So through trial and error, we've worked out that you really need to make a little bit of a measurement to make sure that when these are lined up, that there is enough overhang for the wheel. So prior to making some holes here, make a hole in the wheel in the centre. You might need an adult to help and make sure that it's big enough for the skewer to go through. We will be attaching it with glue and also we've got another small circle. I'm going to place a hole in the middle of that so we can keep the skewer in place. And I'm going to make that a pretty tight fit if I can. Just make sure that that just goes just through. So what we'll do is before we glue anything down, poke your skewer through the circle, through your wheel, and then through the holes that you've made in the base. Poke it through, make sure that it spins. You might need to massage it a little bit because once the paint's on, it does tend to bend a little bit. And then make sure that when you put the holes in, that there's enough overhang up the top. So that looks to be just about right, just about there. So we'll make our hole marks there. Again, get an adult to help and make sure that it comes through the other side. Make sure the hole is big enough for the skewer to go through and be nice and loose. Test that out there. And make sure the wheel still spins, which it does. We also need an extra piece of cardboard and that's going to sit on the top here. You can measure it up and then we're going to create a small triangle, which is just going to be a small little marker. 
this to be a, the wheel rooster. We're gonna fold that over as well. So at this point, I'm just going to cut that. So that is going to be our triangle shape. I'm going to fold it down just to create that marker. Now, take the hot glue gun. Let's pop some glue on here. Make sure we turn it around so it's the right way. And we'll glue that in place. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the glue these parts in place. So we'll have a little bit behind the disc and a little bit on the top. And there is your completed prize spinning wheel. You could label each of these sections, you could give them numbers, you could put prizes on them. And then give the wheel a spin and see where it lands. Let's hope it didn't land on a line. <laughs> it's really important for your circle to be accurate. And the other important part is that your hole is right in the middle of your circle. Thanks for joining me. Kaki Tee.